June 1945, World War II, the deadliest military conflict in human history, was drawing to a close, and world leaders were looking for a pathway to peace. Representatives of 50 countries gathered together to work out a plan, flocking to the US city of San Francisco from across the globe. The Conference of the United Nations on International Organization is now convened. Though the United Nations was the brainchild of US President Franklin Roosevelt, it was his successor, Harry S. Truman, who addressed representatives at the first UN conference. If we do not want to die together in war, we must learn to live together in peace. And after months of drafting the UN Charter, on October 24, 1945, the United Nations came into existence. Now headquartered in New York City, the UN is tasked with a host of responsibilities. 87,000 peacekeepers in 12 operations around the world and delivers supplies to those who need them most. Addressing a UN Security Council meeting on the Middle East earlier, Secretary General Antonio Guterres stressed the importance of global unity. Today is United Nations Day, marking 78 years since the UN Charter entered into force. That charter reflects our shared commitment to advance peace, sustainable development and human rights. On this UN Day, at this critical hour, I appeal to all to pull back from the brink before the violence claims even more lives and spreads even further. It's a message he hopes will translate to every member state. It's a dramatically different world to that of 1945, with old priorities and concerns giving way to new ones. Some critics warn the United Nations needs to reform or risks being confined to history, but its advocates believe the UN has the power to create a more peaceful future. Sally Patterson, CGTN, New York.